Hi everyone, this is a demonstration of the Jimiri Kinect software. Um, we're going to start off by loading an object into Modeler, making sure that it has no skeletons and no predefined weights, because we're adding all those automatically. So no skeletons and also no weight maps. Then we go to Jimirigger. We open the same object. Yes, it's a character, so rig it. Then we have to wait a bit for the rigger. And after we are presented with the initial estimation of the skeleton, we can still make manual adjustments. We'll only make a couple of minor ones here. Just tweaking the skeleton a little bit. Okay, so when we're done with that, we click the continue button and the Jimmy Rigger will automatically calculate the weighting for us. Can get some shadows, change the light setup a bit, and we'll add in the webcam. So you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we go uh, to make a couple of adjustments on the actor. This is default stuff if you're already used to working with the Jimmy Rigger. Then uh, we click the connect button to start to connect, and since I'm all alone, we're gonna record the take right away. So I should be walking into the camera view right about now. And as you can see, our character is moving along nicely and live. Make a couple of test motions. And then we stop the recording. And we also click the disconnect button. So now the skeleton is on the recorded motion that, that we just recorded. And you can just scroll the timeline to see what's going on. Um, since I'm all alone, I didn't do any adjustments live, but that's okay because you can still do all of the adjustments, not only on the live data, but also on the recorded data. So let's try a couple. The ground collisions. Make sure my feet never penetrate the ground. That's better already. Okay, and then we will need some smoothing on our feet because the, the solve on the Kinect feet isn't the best you can get. It's a little bit shaky, but we can easily smooth that out. And then we'll hit that button, which will lock our limp uh, lengths so that my legs are captured as being the same length all the time, which Kinect is normally a little bit shaky on too, but uh, the software compensates for that. So, that looks a lot better already. And then what we're gonna do now is trim our clip up to frame 917 and from, let's say, 240. Okay, so that's a good piece of animation there and we will make it into a clip. We just enter a new name and we bake the motion. As soon as we've done that, we could go back to the Kinect and record another motion, load in a second character and so on. Um, do all that type of stuff. Uh, and then when we're done, then what we have to do is uh, click the export send button. That is that button there. Give it a name. And that's basically all there is to it. So now let's see what the model looks like in Modeler. We've saved a, a new version of the object. 
with dot chimerik in between there and as you can see it now has nice weight maps we we'll put it on the weight shade and you can look at all the different weight maps in there now remember this is without any manual work whatsoever so it's not bad all right and what does it look like in lightwave in the scene editor we open the scene file that we just saved and here we are it's basically exactly the same animation and as you can see the nulls uh, from the Kinect capture are also still in there so that's how difficult it is